Welcome to the Counting and Clapping tutorial series created by the junior high band teachers of the Gilbert Unified School District in Gilbert, Arizona. Counting and Clapping tutorial number two, whole, half, and quarter notes. At the end of this tutorial, you should understand how to count and clap whole, half, and quarter notes in varying rhythm patterns. To be successful, you need to already understand the concepts taught in these earlier tutorials. All rhythm tree tutorials, basic time signatures and beats, and counting and clapping part one, conventions. We'll start with a review of how to count and clap whole, half, and quarter notes. Remember to always check the top number of the time signature for the required number of beats per bar. In this example, the top number is a 4, so there must be 4 beats in every bar. Write the counting directly under the notes. Start every full bar with a number 1 and number all beats consecutively. Our first note is a whole note worth 4 counts, so underneath that note we write 1, 2, 3, 4. Our second measure has 2 half notes worth 2 counts each. The first note gets 1, 2, the second note starts on count three and gets two counts, three, four. The last measure has four quarter notes. Each quarter note gets one beat and it gets its own count. One, two, three, four. Count out loud, but only clap at the start of a note. Remember, in this tutorial series, we underline all of the numbers where you would clap. Keep your hands together after you clap longer notes. So for instance, our first note is a whole note. So we clap and say one, and then keep our hands together, continuing to count two, three, four. In the second measure, we clap on count one, keep our hands together, and continue counting to two. The next half note, we clap and say three, and then continue counting on four with our hands together. Here is a video showing the correct way to count and clap this example. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In the counting and clapping example that we just watched, you might have heard four clicking sounds right before it started. That's caused by a metronome, a very important tool. A metronome is a mechanical or electronic device that uses sound to keep a steady beat. The most common sound is a click. The speed of the beat, called tempo, is measured in beats per minute. The example we just heard was played at 60 beats per minute or one beat every second. A metronome can be set to click at many different tempos. For example, this one is 120 beats per minute, or twice as fast as the previous example of 60 beats per minute. For all of the examples that you will see and hear in the rest of this tutorial series, we will use 80 beats per minute. Now let's take a look at three examples of mixing and matching whole, half, and quarter notes. In example number one, we start out with a whole note worth four counts. So we clap at the beginning of the note and say one, and we continue to count with our hands together on two, three, and four. In the next measure, we have four quarter notes. Each one gets its own beat, and its own clap. One, two, three, four. In the next measure, we have our two half notes. The first half note, we clap on count one, keep our hands together and count two. And the next half note, we clap and count three, keep our hands together and pulse for count four, and count it out loud. The last measure is the same as the first. One, two, three, four, with our hands together. 
Here's a video showing the correct way to count and clap example number one. Now let's look at a second example. In this example, it starts with two half notes. So the first one is one, two, with a clap on one and hands together on two followed by three, four, with a clap on three, keeping our hands together and counting four. The next measure has our four quarter notes. Each one gets its own clap and count. One, two, three, four. Then our whole note gets one clap at the beginning of the note, keeping our hands together and continuing to count out loud for the rest of the note. One, two, three, four. The last measure is the same as the first measure with two half notes. One, two, three, four. Here's a video showing the correct way to count and clap example number two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look at our last example. For example number three, we get a little trickier because we mix the half notes and the quarter notes together in the same measures. We start out with a half note, so we clap and count on count one, keep your hands together, and count out loud for count two. One, two. The next two notes are both quarter notes, so we're going to clap both notes and count out loud three, four. The second measure is just like the first measure, but in reverse. We start with the two quarter notes, one, two, each gets their own clap, and then we end with the half note by clapping on count three, keeping our hands together, and continuing to count four, three, four. The third measure has four quarter notes. Each note gets its own count and clap. One, two, three, four. The last measure is the trickiest, we start with a quarter note on count one, so we clap and count. Then the half note is in the middle of the measure, so we start on count two with a clap, keep our hands together, and continue to count through count three. Two, three. And then we end the measure with a clap on count four. Here's a video showing the correct way to count and clap example number three. This tutorial explained how to clap and count rhythms that use whole, half, and quarter notes. The next tutorial in this series adds rests to various rhythm patterns using these same values.